Hey, what's up guys? You can check out all the diagrams and more at my website, waltrivera.net. All my work is licensed Creative Commons. And uh, feel free to rate, subscribe, do whatever you want. Thanks a lot, guys. Check it out. Hey, what's up, guys? Walt here. Uh, so people see a piano like this, and they want to know that how do they turn this sheet music into being able to play it on this thing? Well, that's my drawing. It's not a very good drawing, but on this thing, uh, or the other way around. How do I play it um, on here and then be able to write it down on a piece of music like this? All right, so that's what we're going to get to today. Real, real quick, uh, pretty cool things happened this week. I'm featured in Paragon Music Magazine this month, and uh, if you just type in paragonmag.com, you'll come to this front, front page here. And here's the issue, uh, typo, uh, typo negative, Temple of Brutality, a bunch of cool bands. And um, sure enough, if, if you click right here, click to view this issue for free, here it is. You have a PDF, and if you and scroll down, drop them a line. Let them know that you appreciate it. Here's the piano. Here's my uh, phenomenal drawing over here. Uh, all, all the C's I have uh, highlighted in green and all the major notes I have written down in red. Now you'll notice that there's other notes that are written in purple. Those are just the notes that are, that are between every one of the quote unquote major notes or what we, we refer to as natural notes. So now, going down here, we're, we're gonna line up where these are up here. Real quick, if you want this diagram, simply click on the link in the, in the description to, to the right and that'll bring you to my website and it's got anyway, a bunch of cool diagrams. Here we have, remember that we discussed face, F-A-C-E? All you're doing here is that you're skipping all the lines. So before you where you had E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, forget all the lines and then all, all the spaces are just F, A, C, E. So now notice how this is C right here. Well, all the C's here I highlighted in green, okay? And all the C's here in a piece of sheet music I highlighted in, in green. So this C right here is really just the same as this C right here. Okay, I, I really should have made it blue now that I'm thinking about it so that you could have kind of compared, you know, saw the same thing. If someone played this note on the piano, would you be able to find it or, or would you be able to write it on a piece of music? Absolutely. Here, here you go. This C here is this C because it's in green, remember, and just go up C, D, E, F. This F is this F. Okay, this C, which I didn't write C, but if I did, it would be this one. So see how high, see how high that is, and see how this is in the middle of the staff, and this is middle C here. Okay, they get higher in pitch, and like so, when your hand moves from left to right on the piano, the actual notes get higher. So that's why your left hand plays bass and your right hand plays treble, because the high notes are on the right and the low notes are on the left. So, a piece of music like this, that's why the low notes are for the left hand and the high notes are for your right hand. So now, if you take this C, this C, by the way, let me just click on, this note is referred to as middle C. And it's quite easy to remember what it's called because it's literally in the middle of the two clefs. All the black notes are always going to be sharps and all the white notes are always going to be natural. It's just the way that the piano is built. Quite, it's quite easy once you get someone to kind of like show you the ropes, I guess. Um, okay. As you can check out all the diagrams and more at my website, waltrivera.net. All my work is licensed Creative Commons. And uh, feel free to rate, subscribe, do whatever you want.